Hello creatives! In this YouTube video I will be sharing with you one free lesson from one of my recent Skillshare classes. But first, let's have a coffee. <laughs> okay, so quite a while ago, uh, last year in September, I have rolled out um, one of my favorite, favorite classes ever. Um, it's available on Skillshare. It's a platform with online classes, online tutorials from illustration all the way through photography to cooking and languages. I've been a top teacher on that platform for more than two years now and so far I have produced eight classes. One of the classes that I've done um, is about creating those magical mods using... Oh, that was the cover using the symmetry tool in Procreate. <laughs> Can you see my ring? Yeah! I got this feedback from you uh, on Instagram. Uh, some of you wrote me a message that you're really interested in taking the classes, but you don't know the platform uh, Skillshare yet. So I thought it's a very good opportunity for me to resuscitate, revitalize my YouTube channel. It's been ages since I posted a new video and I thought it would be really nice to share with you at least a sample lesson. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. I hope that you stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be adding those lessons, I think right now on a regular basis. Um, and I will be basically sharing an entire uh, free lesson with you, which is part of that big old, bigger tutorial that is available on Skillshare. But I will be choosing uh, those lessons strategically in the sense that each of those lessons will be already um, kind of self-sufficient, meaning if you watch this one lesson you will learn the skill, you don't have to watch the entire tutorial. I will be just uh, giving away lessons that teach a particular skill. And for this video I made a poll on Instagram and you voted that you would be very much interested to see how I use the blend mode um, overlay in Procreate. It's one of my favorite blend modes that I have discovered a little bit too late. Let me show you on the illustration that was on the cover image of my Skillshare class where, for instance, I use that blend mode. I hope you can see that. I um, can zoom in those... Um, you know what, I'm gonna open it directly from Procreate here because I was in the gallery view. Okay, let's go in. I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah, for example, those uh, berries over here. Uh, the yellow-like areas and the coral areas. This effect was achieved uh, using overlay blend mode. Do I have another example? Yeah, I was using uh, it to create also a little bit of uh, highlights. For example, over here on those uh, bells, on those flowers. Again, those specks of light and a little bit also on the wings of the moth. And I also used it on this uh, star, which was in the middle of the composition. You can do all that uh, using mm, a normal color wheel, but blend modes in general in Procreate, they give you mm, unexpected results, let's say, because um, they combine colors in such a way that you probably would never be able to do that, if I may say so manually. Manually, I mean by that, without using blend modes. Um, without um, talking too much about that, I will let you watch the free lesson right now and we will talk a little bit more about overlay, blend mode and uh, Skillshare after this video. So enjoy this free class! I believe that the overlay blending mode deserves a, a separate dedicated lesson. Let's go straight to the point. Uh, overlay uh, blending mode combines multiply and screen blend modes. When the base layer is light, it makes uh, it lighter. And where the base layer is dark, it makes it darker. You can see the example of how overlay blend mode works uh, in the picture. I apply the overlay uh, blend modes as a separate layer and it's always on top of other layers. In this picture I used only two colors, the light uh, cream color and the darker purple color. All the other colors that are listed to the right uh, of those pictures came as a result of using the overlay mode. Let's add some extra berries to our illustration, which will be in overlay mode. 
You can do that by creating a new layer on top of all the other layers and then you click on it and you select from the menu Drawing Assist. Then you go to the Blend Mode menu and you scroll all the way down till you find Overlay. I will be drawing my berries with the dry ink and uh, to get the effect that I want um, I am choosing a color that is quite light. Then I go ahead and I start drawing my berries and I make sure that um, the color that I'm laying overlaps with this um, existing red color because um, this exactly is the effect um, that I want. I think it looks very interesting. You can see here, for example, when I draw with the very same color but over the green of the leaves, it uh, gives me yet another color. So it really depends on what other color is underneath and uh, the results are sometimes quite uh, unpredictable but this is what I like about this blend mode. Because I chose that lighter color my berries look as if they were flooded with some extra light. I like this effect so much that I head to the little bells and I add some extra details on the bells as well. I also add a few more extra as if um, <laughs> rounded specks next to the leaves because it adds even more brightness and luminance uh, that I want to achieve. To be fair, I usually use the overlay mode um, with light colors. I rarely use them with darker colors. I like this light effect. And that's all. Now we are ready to add some extra highlights. I hope you enjoyed watching this free class. Of course, if you're interested, you can watch the entire tutorial. Uh, there's a link in the description box below. You have uh, access there to the class itself, but also to one month um, of Skillshare Premium to try out and to take not only my class, but also classes by pretty much, I think, thousands of teachers. There are I think over 100 top teachers who have like they specialize in different categories some people specialize in illustration other people specialize in photography and so on and so on but um, all classes that I have stumbled upon so far on Skillshare have pretty pretty good quality and before I became a teacher I was pretty much taking a class every week yeah so I keep being a student there myself um, so I hope I see you on Skillshare too <laughs> Moreover, I would be very happy if you would like to connect with me on Instagram too. I created a special hashtag called uh, Magical Mods, which you can also check out on Instagram to see what other illustrations people created. And also, I have a bit of a request since uh, my channel is pretty new and I haven't done anything on it for uh, I think two years when I was on my maternity leave. I just got a baby, I have a, a small daughter. Um, I would love, love, love to see if you were here and if you made it so far to watch this entire video till now. And if you did, if you watched this video, if you enjoyed it, if you're here, please comment in the comment section below, magical moths. You know, just that. I will know that you were here, that you watched the video, and that would be also a sign for me if um, I could upload more videos because there's an interest. <laughs> So Kitia, Mika and I wish you a very happy Easter because it's Easter time right now at the moment of recording this video. Bye bye and I hope to see you in the next video. See you soon!